all small scale, which is which is weird because there's plenty of big scale here. You know, a lot of times I find small scale because that's what's there, but not in this case. I'm finding the small scale structures with big trees, and that to me is is curious. It's really curious because the big ones clearly make giant structures. They they, they don't they're not going to make a little tiny structure as far as I can tell. Maybe here and there, but not when they're doing this type of stuff. You know, I, I could almost, that, these are even getting too big for people right there, where it would be comfortable. That's three symmetrical X's right there. And I got this trail that I'm just kind of following and following and following. Nothing's happened here yet. Really good trail marker. Really good trail marker. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Tell me she doesn't look smart. Completely all-knowing to me. That's, that's the way the deer are on the Bigfoot structures. When do you see a deer in your backyard looking at you like that? With complete confidence. Hey, sweetheart. Have a good day. Okay. This is a little bit interesting. It's not, it's not really where I wanted to go, but it's one of the places that helicopter a lot of you will know what I'm talking about. Was was flying, you know, touching the tops of the trees and turning around with like twin turbos and be like Whoa! going again and just for hours and a lot of it's up further. But you know, I find this already interesting. This is one of the spots. Because over on their spots, let me give you an idea, are, are blue ribbons. I find it very amazing. Look, look at the size of that pine. Oh, you guys, I was here. Look at the size of the pine cones up there. I can see them from here. Look at that. We're going to have to walk around here. Give me a sec. Look at the leaners and stuff. Tagged important structures. Yes, I'm not joking around here. Look. And it's highly, highly active in here. And we got a timestamp in here that I haven't think I've, share, I've shared it yet. It looked like something dead with a bunch of them around it. This is fascinating in here. I didn't spend enough time, I went up. There's that pile. Let's go check it out. I remember kicking it and there was snow underneath it. Look, you guys, look how fresh it is. I mean, This is a ways back here. You know, they're not they're not tree tags. You get the X. So we got an X there. X there. Tagged by the government and it looks different. You know, maybe they go after other ones. It may not be the Sasquatch. It could be, you know, these other things I talk about. And it's kind of the way this looks. That's where I kicked it. Right there. And there was snow in, under there last time. This is Jane, I think, because... The snow's gone, but there's more pine cones on top now. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Let's walk through here. I'm going back here for hours. Okay, so now I got a new pine cone. Look. Brand new. Just started. I told you we got some really, really highly unusual timestamps. I really can't go into them because one of them looks dead and they're like around them. And I'm filming it. Next thing you know, you know, there's choppers flying all around. Me, you know, like for hours. Oh, I don't understand it. They won't talk to me, the government. You know, I know they're fully aware of me and, and my cell phone. Look at that. Let me walk around. 
and look, well, you know what? Let me walk with the camera for another minute first. Because this is fascinating. Especially the fact that they're marked and there's government choppers drive, you know, flying over top. Not the first time either, that's the thing. You go, I'm not just, you know, saying this, you guys. I found the same thing over and over. Mark, sometimes I do number one. So when this is this is really busy in here. I mean, it's unbelievable, you guys. It's like another world in here. You really just got to look. Everywhere you look is a made X. Look how that X is pinned in. Yeah. This isn't far from the baby. You know, it's just, it's just up, you know, a mile or so. I don't know. To me, the baby Sasquatch. To me, to this, this is something else. I think, or a different type. You know. I'll tell you, it's 70 degrees, and it's a little chilly in here. It's because I got the cloud cover. It's amazing. Like I'm actually chilly. I said the same thing at last time I was here. It was actually chillier because I got no uh, no jacket on. I like it. It feels good. So let's. I, I remember I walked back to these rocks. I don't know if I put it on, on the camera or not, but you know, and, and it goes straight down here. But it doesn't get any less interesting. So let me let me take a look around. All small scale, which is which is weird because there's plenty of big scale here. You know, a lot of times I find small scale because that's what's there, but not in this case. I'm finding the small scale structures with big trees, and that to me is is curious. It's really curious because the big ones clearly make giant structures. They they, they don't they're not going to make a little tiny structure as far as I can tell. Maybe here and there, but not when they're doing this type of stuff. You know, I could almost, that, these are even getting too big for people right there, where it would be comfortable. That's three symmetrical X's right there. And I got this trail that I'm just kind of following and following and following. Nothing's happened here yet. Really good trail marker. Really good trail marker. All right, I'm gonna keep going. This place. Another trail marker. Another trail marker. Look at this. How do you get two like that? And this one's even crazier. And let me show you why I know for a fact it's theirs. You guys see that thing? That's why. That X, look at this. That's an X, and then this is the other part of it. There's a wallow in here, and I got all kinds of pine cones right here. It's all pine cones. Look at this. You know, don't you want to just see them in here? You know, they got all the time in the world. I'm over there, put my backpack on. I'm like, beep, beep, close, <laughs> lock my door, come in. Even if none of that happened, I don't, I think, if you crawled in with a ghillie suit from a hundred miles away, they would just laugh at you, especially as you got close. Like, there's no way to sneak up. And people are like, Mark, be quiet. Oh, wow. <sighs> Didn't even see it. There's no way to sneak up on these guys. Just be their friends. Don't be sneaky. You know, I put the truck cam out today. I was like, you guys, I have a, I have a camera here. Please, can I have a picture of the baby? Because I really want to see the baby. You know? Even if they left a note, they're like, okay, here's the picture. Don't show it to anybody. I wouldn't, you know? Like, <laughs> I want to see that baby so bad. Little baby, like this big. Well, you know, like really small baby. How cool would that be? I'm a lover of babies. I love babies, human babies, love puppies, love kittens, love any baby. You know, I don't know why. I think most of us do. Here's a, here's a crazy amount of pine cones. You know, a decorated stump. Really cool, I'm gonna keep going. Look, that's about it. So, not even a 15 minute walk. Look at the teepee structure. See that? I walked right here, didn't even notice it, the way they do it. Everyone is just broken at the bottom, exactly the same, and pushed into this crazy teepee structure. Look at that, that's where it starts, right? And then you turn around, there's signs, but not really, you know, like it's just open and, you know, I see things like this with the old firewood. You know, they love the old wood. Focal point, you know, totem pole, whatever you want to call it. There's no doubt about it. they put these here. See that? 
<laughs> that's cool. But otherwise, like nothing really happening in the middle out here. It's like this, I don't know if it's a transition or not. We're gonna find out when we go over here. Depends how good this is. I wouldn't mind going to some other spots today too. I'm jumping, jumping in and out today. You know, and just walking a mile or two and then coming back. It's kind of like the next stage of my exploration of this area. I'm, I'm spending the time here because it's so close in a sense to where I'm living. And I'm not getting that, you know, that one-on-one -on -one, like personal, like, Mark, we're so glad you're here type of thing that I'm aware of yet at all. Even though I got noises today, that was pretty cool. They still weren't like noises where I felt like, you know, it was more like they were discussing me or something. It wasn't them trying to let me know or have fun with me. These are just my impressions so far. I could be so off base, you know, I don't know. You know, it's just a big mess, you know, it's all stuff they did. They blocked this. That's really cool. I'm really excited about the trail cam area. Look at this. You get behind here, it's all clean. See that? Same thing. Clean, clean, clean. There's structures all over. You can almost just picture a Sasquatch back there. Give me a sec. All right, so I just said give me a sec, right? Like literally a second ago. Um, and check this out. I didn't see it. Look at that. There's an X made out of a branch and then the branch gets turned by the other one that it makes an X with and comes all the way to here where I can actually touch it. Right there, look at that. That's cool. I like seeing stuff that they really, really went crazy on, but you can't see it. You can barely notice it. That's incredible. See what I'm talking about? First of all, this one in the back is pinned in, right? You got the other one that comes underneath. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. I'm kind of tired of explaining it all, but it's crazy. Look, that's part of the X and it's field gold there. To me, that's good. And I got seats and cleanness everywhere. I think I might sit right here, right here, just for five minutes. Let me see. I'll tell you, it's simply an amazing thing to sit up in these woods. I'm guessing, you know, 20, 30 miles to the closest town to the closest people even. There's nobody up here even. There was a few campsites when me and Nico came up, now they're, they're empty, there's just nobody. I love the weekdays, especially a Tuesday. That's when you wanna squatch, on a Tuesday. So I'm just sitting here, kinda of like, bucking out over that, like, you know, wow. You know, like this is, it's amazing. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Like no person is supposed to be here right now, and that's what I like about it. You know what I mean? Like. No one was expecting anybody here right now. I don't think they're, they ever get anybody here, honestly. Ever. That's the amazing part about the forest, you guys. People don't go in them. <laughs> People don't seem to understand that. Everybody thinks someone else did it. No one has done anything. You guys don't, just, just go in the woods and look yourself. Everyone that listened to me say that has sent me back amazing pictures of structures. The same exact structures that I film. So, over now. All right, so lots of looking around without filming in here. It's all this type of stuff. I just sat here. It was weird, I was like tripping out. I was just sat there for like 10 minutes without making a noise. I didn't hear, except behind me in here. I had some, a couple like, it's just movement things, which doesn't mean anything. So I think I'm gonna get out of this, this spot. It's really hard. It's really a difficult place because if you don't want to go too many miles away because of the severity of the hill, uh, you know, I want to get to my car and if I walk back without GPS, it's going to be, and you miss your car, you, you, you'll never figure out where it, whether it was up or down or it could be a, a fatal mistake in a way. So I'm just walking through. It's crazy. You can see how clean it is here, right? Paths, and then this stuff. There's X's at every turn. I mean, 
in, in the shadows and stuff. Big white X right there. Yeah, back to the car. I'm gonna film again as I get back to that crazy, really root, different type of area. You know what I'm talking about? That's, look how different it is. Now this isn't Bigfoot Universe or Holy Cross, but to me this is Sasquatchy. See, look at the X. See, that you come with the trails. You got the blockage. Look at the X's everywhere, you guys. There's one that points directly down. What do you want to bet if you step over that thing right there? There's a beautiful open area right there in there. Because that X is telling me there is. Beautiful X. Downward. Just means here. You know, Sasquatch. Sasquatchy. You get into those that eerie place with no sun and there's just giant piles of pine cones and why isn't there pine cones on these? You know, why Why isn't there any here? Where they're clearly, I mean, yeah, I could tell if they were five years old. There's, there's never been pine coning in here. But yet there's spots everywhere. Because they're different. I mean, that's the only thing I can come up with. Different, we're dealing with different types of species here. And, and although they live next to each other, they don't seem to live together. You know, and then I'll find, you know, a place like that, which could be like a meeting area, these wallows, or like places they meet, maybe. I don't know. Discuss uh, Colorado Bigfoot. It's disturbing their, their home too much. Should we kill this guy, or should we just let him do what he's doing? You know, Bigfoot Universe, like, they love me there, you know? I don't know what these guys want. I don't know what their deal is. You can just tell it's all squatchy. Look at look how chewed up the ground is in here. It, this should be look. It should, even in the in the shade, guys. It's weeds and grass here. It's completely disturbed. Look how disturbed the logs are, just from being walked on over and over. Oh, it's amazing in Bigfoot Universe. You can see the footprints in the log. Some of the old logs make, they literally have footprints, they don't care. Because no one will ever see them. I believe they're taught, not for us, but for other reasons since birth to, you know, to be to cover, conceal, cover their track, cover where they were, always. And I, it might not just be for us, it could be internal as well. You know, the creature they fight with finally shows up, he's like, okay, this is, here's the guys we're looking for, you can tell immediately by the structures. I don't know. Blatant. All right, let's push back through and see what happens here. I'm co just coming back to that field where they have like signs like It's an open field. They clearly come out here You know, they like the open too. You know, do they come out here during the day or do they come out here? I almost just fell right in my face or do they come out here uh, during the night? I don't know. No night, but I just don't know. I look, I've seen them in the day. There's ones out here in the daytime. Let's just put it that way. I know there is, because they're just not gonna be in sight, you know? I have to use this example all the time. I don't even see a squirrel. If I was a squirrel filming channel, I'd be having a tough time today. No one in the world will believe they're squirrels. I'd be like, you guys, you don't understand. I see them run up the trees. And if no one had ever seen one before, they'd be like, sure, sure, where is it? Where is it? It's like, you guys, I don't know, they're here. I just can't, where's the moose? Where are, I did get a deer today, but where are the deer? Where are, where's anything? There's nothing here <clears throat> that's visible. You know, they're, they're, they all stay on the outskirts. Look at the bend. Look at that bend. <sighs> Loving this bend. This is what I'm talking about. You know, that, that, that looks real shabby what I showed you, except for the beginning. This bend, I'm loving this. This is what I look for. See how it's sideways on the hill? To me, that's great. Let's go look at the end. I love, I love to, you can never look at too many ends of the bends and how they're there. Yeah, see? Tucked under this branch. There's no way it's coming out. Look at that. It's right there. Beautiful bend. Beautiful. And you keep going, you know? Where this leads up to, 
and about two miles or so is the fire area and that's another huge area of the helicopter well to the right of it and I may just go up there right now in the car I can drive up there you know this place is just bizarre look at the X on the stump you know but it doesn't have the you know, like the bendy type stuff. You, know, you start to see the bends and you'll see the symmetrical X's and you'll see all that. Like that's the type of place I like. Who does that and who does this? You know, look at that giant rock that came up with that tree. Look at it, I mean, that's a huge rock. Pull that baby right out of the ground. You know, in, in 10 years, so some guy I'll be with through here be like, I think Bigfoot did that because the rock is going to look so cool and it'll be so heavy and like impossible to get up in the air like that. But it's probably because just the tree fell over. My guess is they probably pushed that over. And you know, there's something with the rocks and the quartz that helps them, you know, they, they want that rock. All right, bye.